Well, this time of year is when hummingbirds in South Central Indiana are most active. The birds migrate here from Central America and usually stick around through the end of summer. And if you have a feeder, you've likely seen the acrobatics the birds perform when there is more than one around. But are the hummingbirds playing or fighting? Joni Duggan has this story. Alex Georgescu bought a hummingbird feeder last summer after moving to Bloomington. Yeah, in 15 minutes I was just still like sitting here and hummingbirds started popping up. Um, you know, first was one, then multiple and, and they would fight and, and cause all sorts of drama. The hummingbirds zip and dart around in the air. Sometimes they'll chase each other, dive and make loud noises to try to scare each other off. I kind of think of them as like flying medieval knights, you know, with a lance, but instead of a lance, they kind of use their beak. It's the hummingbird's way of defending their territory. A hummingbird's day usually revolves around one thing, finding something to eat. Their very high metabolic rates at that small size um, requires them to uh, constantly search for food. The birds have to eat every 10 to 15 minutes. They rely on an abundant supply of nectar although they are no larger than three to four inches and weigh less than an ounce. The joint structure, uh, the bone and, and muscle uh, structure around the uh, shoulder especially, allows them to do things that a lot of other birds can't do. They can stop in the air instantly or start hovering. With precision, they can fly up or down. Their wings flap over 50 times per second. Their long curved bills allow them to drink nectar from tubular flowers. Their favorites are red, orange, and pink ones. In a given day, a hummingbird might visit as many as 2,000 flowers. Hummingbirds are really territorial, right? They've got that good patch of food that they're going to defend it, and so they will kind of chase each other out. That's Ken Keffer, co-owner of Wild Birds Unlimited in Bloomington. Their other natural food sources are insects and tree sap. Keffer says feeders can help supplement the natural supply of nectar. The simple sugar water mix is four parts water to one part sugar. Dye isn't necessary, and Keffer says it could actually make the birds sick. They're naturally attracted to the colors of feeders. The birds don't realize the feeders won't be depleted as quickly as a flower, hence some of the intense aerial battles. Keffer says the key to keeping them from fighting is to try and keep them separate. A lot of people can, can keep those multiple feeders separate, maybe move one to the backyard and one to the front yard to give a little visual separation to help. But yeah, it's just the nature of hummingbirds. From March to August, male hummingbirds are looking for a mate. They might look like they're fighting, but in these cases, the birds are pulling out all the stops to impress the females. So when male hummingbirds are doing their territorial displays, they'll often like fly like 50 feet up in the air and do these big like U-shaped flights and they'll dive back and forth, you know, to kind of help attract a mate. Researchers who study hummingbird behavior discovered males nosedive towards females at speeds of 40 to 50 miles per hour. They'll belt out high-pitched calls and the wing going through their tail feathers will create a whistle. You'll notice the birds always dive towards the sun. This is to make sure their feathers are in the best light. It all takes just 300 milliseconds, the time it takes to blink. Georgescu did add multiple feeders to his backyard to try to keep the peace. He says it has helped some and there seems to be less conflict. The feeders do require a lot of upkeep. They should be cleaned and nectar should be changed every few days to keep the birds from getting sick. Those are kind of the important things, keep them fresh and clean, but the hummingbirds are drawn to them. While they may be a little extra work to take care of, Keffer says hummingbird feeders are a great way to connect with nature in your backyard. Watching nature just for a few minutes a day can really just help get rid of stress. I mean, we, we feel this when we go outside, right? You just feel better, you're happier, you're kind of less stressed, you're calm, your heart rate goes down. Studies show bird watching can reduce stress more than other outdoor activities, such as walks. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Joni Dugan. Hummingbird season lasts through October when most will migrate south over the Gulf of Mexico.